Hello everyone, welcome to another video of the course. In this video, we are going to calculate the efficiency map using the equivalent circuit analytic method in the Excel file. Later, we will calculate the efficiency map using the finite element results. So here you can see the equivalent circuit considering the core resistance. So in the first step, we should calculate the equivalent core resistance and then generate a grid here in the torque speed plane. And for every single point, we can solve the equivalent circuit calculate losses and finally calculate the efficiency to generate this efficiency map. So how we can calculate the equivalent core resistance? Before calculation of the core resistance, let's review calculation of the stator winding losses using the two axis model. Yes, we know that the stator winding losses is equal to the phase resistance times IA to the power two plus IB to the power two and plus IC to the power two. So this is actually the product of these two vectors. This is a column vector, I, A, B, and C, and this is its transpose. So we know that I, D, and I, Q is equal to this matrix product. This is the transformation matrix, and here we have the reverse transformation, and this is the transpose of this equation. So here, if instead of these two vectors, we use this vector and this one, we can write this equation. And finally, we will have this equation. So this is the expedition. When we are going to use the stator ABC reference frame or this is the equivalent equation when we use the D and Q reference frame. So, yes, here I did the steady state simulation using the 3D model considering two electric periods because, as you know, to calculate iron losses, we need to do the simulation for two electric periods and calculate average values on the second electric period. And here you can see the calculated copper losses using this equation. This one, PSW, that we have it here, yes, this equation. And here we have this equation, our phase times ID to the power two plus IQ to the power two times three divided by two. So as you can see here, the average values are the same. So we can use the same logic and calculate the equivalent per phase core resistance. So in the equivalent circuit, we have a core resistance here and the voltage over this resistance, yes, is equal to the induced voltage. Here that we have LD omega R IDS plus omega R lambda A F. Yes, this is E D and this is the negative of E Q. Yes, so if we extend the same equations, we can write this equation. The iron losses is equal to 3 divided by 2, 1 divided by the core resistance, 
times this expression and this is the amplitude of the induced voltage phasor so finally we will have this equation and we can calculate the equivalent per phase core resistance using this equation so here we have es the amplitude of the induced voltage phasor and here is the core loss plus solid loss. I included the eddy current losses in magnets also in iron losses to include its effect on equivalent core resistance. So in this equation actually the iron losses is proportional to the square of the induced voltage yes so this is not uh, exact because we have hysteresis losses eddy current losses change with the frequency and so on but however this method is not very accurate but we can quickly calculate the efficiency map after calculation of the inductances magnet flux and equivalent core resistance so in initial stage of the design easily we can evaluate the efficiency map and optimize the motor and finally we can calculate the efficiency map using the finite element method by performing several steady state simulations yes and compare so here, if I calculate the average values for the second electric period, this is the ES 185.9, and this is the summation here. So, I want to implement this equation. This is ES. 186 and 96 is iron losses. So, what is the value of core resistance? 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1.5 times ES to the power 2 divided by this number 540. So here I can set the number and generate the efficiency map. So here I developed this code, yes, for calculation of the efficiency map in this module. We read the data and then we calculate the efficiency for grid points right one by one and finally we can plot the efficiency map here you can see we have the maximum efficiency the green region this is the efficiency at the base point and uh, here yes when the motor speed increases we have higher iron losses and here we have uh, higher copper losses when we increase the amplitude of the stator current phasor here the output power is low we have a low efficiency here low efficiency here and this is the green region also mechanical losses are estimated by this friction coefficient and how we calculate friction coefficient the explanation is available in other courses like induction motor and interior permanent magnet motor design you can refer to those videos so okay in this video just i wanted to explain the procedure for calculation of the efficiency map Using the equivalent circuit, how we can calculate the equivalent core resistance and calculate the efficiency map 
by setting these numbers. And in the next video, we will calculate the efficiency map using the finite element method and we will compare it with this graph. Thanks for watching.